What is good guys, we are back with another ulti round 3 loot of bracket series, Kigatha vs Sorry. And yeah, unfortunately I missed this life, I went to sleep early yesterday. And yeah, thankfully one of my friends downloaded the replay, so at least I have access to this, because replays are down at the moment. I know my man Sorry likes Scarf Grand, so this is gonna be Scarf Grand, this is gonna be Zemo for Specs Gengar. Um, Assault Vest Tangros, I'm not sure about the Lando set. And... SD3 attacks more while Kigas' team, it's gonna be banned at weak while. Um, either Assault Vest Zone or Assault Vest Torn. Uh, if this is Assault Vest, this could also be Z-Move. But if this is not Scarf, this could also be the Z-Move user. I'm not 100% sure about Kigas' team. We will try and figure that out as we go. So Kigas leaks off with Magnus Zone and Momentum Sour leads off with Gren. Gren cannot really do much to Magnus Zone, so he's probably gonna U turn out, or he, if he doesn't wanna reveal the set, he can just switch into the Tangros here. Kikaz is most likely gonna go for Flash Can. That covers um, Sorry going into Landris on an electric move. That covers Sorry potentially going for Spikes with his Greninja. So there's no way that he's clicking uh, electric move here. He's definitely clicking Flash Can here. So Sorry does just U turn out here. So he reveals that he's Scarf, gets some chip, and he's probably gonna go into the Tangros here to eat up. The flash cannon. So now he scares this out with an earthquake. Morwell also takes a good chunk from earthquake, especially since it's not mega evolved yet. So sorry, can go for a knockoff, expecting um, either this or this to come out. Let's hopefully this go for knockoff. There is the tornado. Now we see if it's Z move or if it's life or by AV. So he does a knockoff the assault vest. So if I'm kick ass here, I would, I would click U turn on the Coco. I'm, I'm like, I'm completely being honest with you guys because even if sorry stays in. You can still try and predict what Sorry goes for. Like you can think if Sorry would go for HPI expecting this or this. You could like think if he would go for Earthquake expecting those. Like I feel like Kickass still has options. Like what he wants to go to if this Tango stays in. And if he U-turns on a Coco, um, that's nice momentum for him. So I would definitely U-turn here. My man Sorry is obviously gonna go into his Coco here. Um, Kickass does decide to fire off a Hurricane, and that crit definitely sucks. I don't know if this Coco has rules, but yeah, this Coco is pretty chipped down now, it's gonna be super annoying. Um, I feel like Magnuson is gonna come out here, or Lando is gonna come out here, so if I'm sorry, I would definitely click U-turn or Roost. He does double out. Maybe that means that he's a special Volt Switch Coco and he doesn't have U-turn, and he wanted to double out into Landros covering the opposing Lando and covering the Magnus Zone. Like, if, if this has HPIs, this covers the opposing Lando and Earthquake. Uh, this also obviously covers the Magnus Zone because it has Earthquake. And yeah, Kikisa just ran into his Lando. I'm probably anticipating a U turn or electric move. Um, This is. I mean, both have a potential Rocker in Morwell, but I assume both Landos are Rocks. Uh, Kikisa's Lando should be defensive since he doesn't have a good Zygarde switch in. I'm not so sure about Sorry's Lando yet, but I assume they're both defensive. So I think they just exchange rocks here. And Sorry's Lando seems to be faster, so he can go for HP IC and get some nice damage. He gets the crit there, so that's some revenge for the crit on the Coco. Um, so I'm assuming Kikisa is gonna switch out here and save this. Um, but if I'm sorry, I'd pro I would actually I would just HP IC again if I'm sorry because like. He might go into he might go into tornadoes here, but like HPIC still get good chip damage. If he goes Lari, you still get good chip. Yeah, I think I would just HPIC. So I I, I agree with Kick Ether, um, with Kick Ether's play of going torn. Uh, sorry, makes a nice play of U-turn there. He gets the momentum, so he makes a better play than I assumed. There, I thought I actually thought that he went for um for HPIC that turn. So the Coco is getting super low and super low, and the terrain also ends. I feel like Kick Ether has a free mine zone here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Specs, the way Sorry doubled out earlier because he didn't have U-turn. If he had U-turn, he could've just clicked that. Um, like, the way he doubled out, he made a play that covered those two months and just tells me that he doesn't have U-turn and that he's most likely special. Like, that's just what I think. So, the Magnuson should come out here. I assume we see, like, a HP or Dazzling Gleam. He does go for Dazzling Gleam, there's no damage. Uh, Voltage should've been a good play there. But since Lando is still alive and it's at 21%, so it's basically almost dead to rocks. Um, sorry, probably expected kick to sack off the Lando, so I completely understand that he didn't go for electric move there. Um, so what kick can do here is... Um, he doesn't have to predict anything because his tornado is already knocked off. He can just go for flash can. He does not lose anything from clicking flash can here. He does just do that, now he can just volt switch into his torn. 
Um, like he could have also gone hard into Tornadus. I don't think the 11% of the Volt Switch did matters too too much. So Tangrowth can't do anything to this unless he has Rock Slide, Hidden Power Ice. Okay, Hidden Power Ice is a little bit more than I thought it would because he already knocked off the Torn. But yeah, Torn can still handle that. It has Regenerator. And he can fire off a Hurricane or a Heat Wave here. So this Coco will probably dies to a Heat Wave from this range. Also dies to a Hurricane, right? Because of the crit from earlier. An unfortunate crit from earlier. He does go into Mawile. So this dies to Sucker Punch. I assume Kickass is going to sack his lander to get off the Intimidate here. Oh, actually, he won't get off the Intimidate because we see this Mawile doesn't get Intimidate on the Torn. That means the Mawile has Hyper Cutter. Um, but yeah, this Mawile is a threat to Kickass if he doesn't play correct around it. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, this Tornade is a super useful. Um, switching into Tangus is nice with this Torn. So I'm not sure if Kickass. I think Kickass will switch out. Into Lando or into Magnuson, I'm not 100% sure. He goes into Ladios, that's quite that's quite a weird switch in. Maybe he's willing to sack his Ladi. So sorry just went for Sucker Punch there. Um I don't know, like I understand why he went for Sucker, obviously trying to get rid of the Torn, but I feel like it was pretty obvious that Kickers are still one of the tornadoes around. Like Tornadoes is a really nice check. Um if Scarf Grand doesn't is not locked into Ice Beam, the Torn deals with it pretty well. Um, like it can deal with U-turn, it can deal with like, it can probably take a gunk shot, I assume, after regen, it might be able to take one. Um, it can switch, it can outspeed the Gengar, it can uh, switch into the Tangros quite well, so like it was pretty obvious to me that Kickass was gonna save that. But yeah, now, I assume so he's gonna SD up and try to win the game with Mawal. So Kickass pivots into Landorus here, yeah, expecting Sucker Punch. Hopefully he went for SD, he just went for Sucker Punch. Um, so he's just gonna Sucker Punch again here, I assume, try to kill this. No, he didn't, okay. He went on his own land, though. As kick as I just go for off quick. Like, this is in range to die from rocks, and I don't know why Sarah didn't go for Sucker. Oh, he didn't want to get trapped by the mo by the Magnezone after, because Electric Terrain was up. So that play actually makes sense. Yeah, okay. As, as, that's at least what I think. If I'm missing something here, you guys can let me know in the comments. So sorry, goes in his own land, though. And yeah, sorry, outspeeds this, and he can just go for HBIs here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's no point in, like over predicting here. I would just go for HBIs. Like it does a decent chunk um, to like pretty much everything. And if he goes to Weevil, then he still has to take rocks. So he goes in a lot here, and I assume sorry is gonna go into his tank. Like he still wants this land though, around. No, he just just sack his land. Okay, so there's the Z move. Um, to be fair, his Tangos would have gotten blown away by the Z move. If he went into Mawile, he would have looked like a god. Um, like I was basically assuming that his Ladi was Scarf, but he now reveals that his Z move Ladi. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so what Sari can do here is go into his Mawile and now try to SD up. I feel like if you're kick ass, exactly, you just want to get off damage. The crit is a bit annoying for sure. Um, but sorry should just attack him now because uh, Kikesa is gonna try to outplay Sucker Punch. I feel like you should just play rough here. It's pretty obvious that he's gonna like... Oh, he SDs again. Oh, he's going for a game. Never mind. Okay. Um, I don't... I don't think he would SD again. I thought Kikesa would try to play around, but I guess Kikesa got him. Um, because if you if you get as your Mora get too low, then you eventually... Uh, in range from we all from ice shot that crit obviously sucked that crit with side shot sucked but he still shouldn't have let this get too too low i feel like one sd was pretty much enough um i guess i can pause it and run a calc on um i can run a calc how much a sucker at plus two does to weevil let me do that real quick one second guys plus two sucker punch from mega mobile to weevil does 72 to 85 um so it has a really good chance to kill after rocks so i don't understand why he went for sd again Mm. Because if he gets in range from Ice Shard, then the Weaver doesn't even have to play around Sucker Punch. It, like the, then the Weaver doesn't have to like fear the Sucker Punch from Mawile. It can just Ice Shard. Because if Mawile, like okay, to be fair, it would still be a mind game because the Weaver could Ice Shard on the Sucker. But like it would be in sorry favor, I feel, if he didn't let his Mawile get too low and if he just SD one. But the crit obviously still sucked. So yeah, I assume Sorry is gonna spam Sucker Punch now and Kikesa is gonna try to outplay that. I thought that would already happen last turn, but for some reason Sorry SD again. Um, maybe I'm missing something. Like, I think pretty much everything else is in range. 
And like the mobile obviously doesn't die to sucker. Like, huh? Maybe maybe he SD'd up to ensure that Thunder Punch kills the opposing Mawal. I'm. I don't know, dude. So Kick Ezra does go for Devog on the sucker and then goes for Roost on the sucker. And now he catches Sorry and goes for Psy Shock, which means this uh, Mawal is in range from uh, Weewell's Ice Shot. So Kick Ezra just played this pretty well, to be fair. So he probably just went for Player of here to pick off the Ladi. Thankfully, he does connect. If he missed that, it would have been uh, completely over and annoying for him. So yeah, Kickers obviously goes for Ice Shot here. You don't play around with a plus 4 Mega Maul. While well, Sorry knows that he has to go for Ice Shot, goes on the Greninja. Gets crit again. That sucks. You can obviously click U turn here. He might go for Hydro Pump as well. Because that tweet kills the Magnezone. And he knows that we were sucking the Ice Shot. So you can definitely go for Hydro Pump here. Okay, he goes for U turn. And I assume we're gonna see um, the Gengar if it's specs can definitely kill this. I assume, or if he's not specs, he's gonna fire off a Z move or a Focus Blast. So he does just go for. I assume this is never ending nightmare. And um, picks off the Magnezone. And now guess I can go into his Gengar, uh, not Gengar, into his Torn, or into his Weewall here. He can go Weewall to pursue this. Um, but I think he's just gonna click protect. Uh, uh, he's just gonna click knock off. Why did I say protect? I think he's just gonna click knock off because the mobile is low enough to die from that. And huh. let me let me calculate quick. If if Gengar dies um, from pursuit, then there's no point um, to go for knock off. Then you always go for pursuit here. But let me calculate that real quick. Uh, okay, the pursuit always kills even if Gengar stays in. Okay, so there's no reason, my bad guys. There's no re oh, this is game two. There's no reason to um to not to not go for pursuit. You just pursued. Okay, and he knocks. I feel like pursuit was fine. Uh, it didn't matter too too much though. So sorry, can just U turn here. Just kick as I'm um, willing to sack off his land. Oh, now he now he now he hydros. Okay, I thought you would have done that earlier when he U turned. No, I thought he would have U-turned because the ruler was locked into knockoff. Um, this losing... Actually, yeah, this losing the scarf doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, this was still fine. He didn't... So Hydro Pump was fine there, I guess. Um, but Weaver can take a Hydro Pump. That's a thing. That's why... Huh. Like, earlier the Weaver was locked into Ice Shot. So it was obvious that the Weaver had to switch out. But now it was not... It was locked into Knock. So, like, that was quite weird that he went for Hydro Pump now. Like, I felt like now he should have gone for U-turn. But okay, at this point the game is looking in uh, kick Ether's favor anyway. And uh, kick is just gonna click knockoff here. So he does connect his pump, but the Weaver eats it up. And he does do the band knockoff there. And now he has to go into Tangrowth because the mobile is too low. And he just, oh yeah, he just forfeits, okay. So how healthy was the Tangrowth? It was at 50, so after region, it would have been too low. Yeah, I think the Tangrowth could not kill the Weaver. He also had a tornado in the back and he had his own mo own mobile. Yeah, the game was pretty much over. Um, let me just calculate if the Tangrowth could have killed the Weewell. Earthquake doesn't kill, Giga Drain doesn't kill. The only way he could have killed him was with um, Leaf Storm. So yeah, that was um, quite unfortunate that his uh, mobile got crit, but I feel like I guess I just uh, played him really well there. That was some Sucker Bunch Mind games. And yeah, we're gonna go to game 2 now. Sorry brings a team that I actually have, so I can tell you guys about the sets it's pretty cool so it's scarf tapu lele i think it's focus blast moon blast um psychic hp fire but i don't remember every single move yeah i think that's it um so this is sd lander with Connor crush this is defensive land uh, defensive favor with stealth rocks and calm mind um defog mantam with roost and scald i don't remember if it's haze or toxic i think it's haze um choice banter ranatar and then defensive sd scissor with u-turn and yes, um, I don't know why I said yeah, that, that, that's so weird. But yeah, kick ass's team, I know some of the sets because he used this game in one of his snake... He used this team in one of his uh, snake games. Uh, I will also upload that game the upcoming days. But yeah, I'm not sure when yet because I have a lot of... Um, like, I want to record these old TV plays from the, for the two old series that I have missed. So this Ladius is um, Z-Move, that's what I have seen in a snake game. This Greninja is actually... Um, it was Torrent, but it's, it's Specs. It's meant to be Ashgren, I think, and I think he messed up the ability. This is AV Majorna. Um This was, I think, maybe Expert Bolt? I just know that he showed Thunderbolt and Sludge Wave. And I think he changed that move so it's not Scarf. Not 100% sure about the item on Lando. Maybe it's the... On Lando, on Thunderous. Maybe it's the Berry that heals you 75%. 
And yeah, I assume this is defensive rock slam because he's quite weak to Zygarde. And then it's just uh, Laupani. Could be Power Punch or could be Encore or Ice Punch, the last slot. I'm not quite sure. On this team, he's not really weak to Lando, so I don't think it's Ice Punch. I think it's Power Punch or Encore. Probably Power Punch. But yeah, let's just get into the game. So it is over this Osalva's Magiona versus a Clefable. Um, this Magiona is quite annoying for Soy. Um, because, like, Flash Can would obviously blow the Clefable away. If this um, if it's had HP fire, then the Scizor gets blown away here. So, like, Soy just has to get this turn correct. Like, he doesn't have a Mon that just walls this Magiona perfect. The only way he walls this Magiona is um, with the Scizor if this doesn't have HP fire. But he doesn't know that. And whatchamacallit, if he Volt Switch on the Scizor, that would also be um, uh, early momentum loss for moment, sorry. Okay, so we do see here, Kikesa goes for HP Fire turn 1, the play makes a lot of sense to me, he was trying to catch the Scizor. And I actually might have gone to Scizor there, I'm like, not gonna lie, I would not want to risk Michael Fable turn 1. Um, I do understand Sorry's um, play though, he already lost game 1, so he has to, like, he's trying to make some aggro plays turn 1 already. Like... I don't know if he just didn't think about his turn or if he made an aggro play and knew that he wouldn't go for flash cannon turn one. Um, so I assume Kick Asa is gonna go for a Volt Switch here because um, Sorry might now go into like Manta anticipating a flash cannon. I'm not 100% sure. I think I would just go for flash cannon this turn. So he does go into Manta. And and he goes for Hidden Power Fire again, so he's trying to catch the Scizor, but this is completely fine um, for Kick Aether because now he can Volt Switch. Um, so we could predict that and go into his Landris. So mid ground play for Kick Aether would be going for Flurricane or Ice slash Ice Beam. Um, but Ice Beam obviously wouldn't do anything to Manta. And so he just goes for Scalp Moment, sorry, and he does get a lucky burn on the Majorna. And there's the Flurricane. So Kick Aether didn't want to risk uh, sorry pivoting into Lander there. Completely understandable, right? But yeah, since uh, Mantan is faster, Mantan can just roost up here. And Volt Switch is gonna bounce off, he's uh, gonna Volt out. A good play would be going into Lando here, but I understand that he wants to have his Mantan healthy. So this should only do like 15%, but he does get a crit, that's really unfortunate. Uh, minus to Volt Switch wouldn't have done much at all. He goes on a low punny, so uh, sorry, has a max defense Clefable that he can go out into here. Um, and he should be... Okay, he's at 84%, but he should still be fine, like... The, uh, he goes into his Landers first, so this Landers is offensive, it's gonna take a good amount from the return. Um, I think the only reason why he made this play is because his Clefable wasn't at full, and the Lopani was still, I think it's out of range, I think the Lopani was out of range from Moonblast, I'm gonna calc that real quick. Um, but I think Moonblast wouldn't have killed, so Sorry is probably feeling to get either to it KO'd from a roll, or to die from power up punch into frustration. Like, Power Punch into Frustration doesn't kill, but he cannot Oko the, um, the Lopani back. So he would then get, obviously, to it girl, but a plus one Frustration. So let me just run a Calc real quick. Clefable does take... Um yeah, so it was a roll, but easily in Sorry's favor to lift to returns. And how much would plus one do? Uh, 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 57. Yeah, Moonblast does... Uh, so yeah, the, ma the, main the main thing that I wanted to Calc is the Moonblast. It is 75 to 88 to the Lopani. So I can understand why so he made this play. Okay, okay. Since Moonblast didn't kill this, and his Clefable could potentially do it out, especially if this has p p power punch, then the Clef would probably lose to this. So it makes some sense, and he's probably gonna pivot into Clef now, uh, scouting for Ice Bunch here. Kikesa just switches out, um, predicting Earthquake, I assume, or like Sky Strike or something like that. So I think Kikesa's gonna get his rocks up here, and so he's gonna Moonblast or Calm Mind. So he does call, um, just Moonblast up. <laughs> Moonblast up. I said it if he went for Calm Mind. So Kikesa goes for some Earthquakes here. So he just wants to weaken this Lando. Um, now this Lando dies to rocks, so there's no point really in switching out. Um, because I don't think uh, Kikesa has hazard control on this team. This Lari is like Z move 3 attacks, if I recall correctly from his Snake game. I don't know if it's 3 attacks, but I remember it's Z move. But yeah, he just spams off quick now. Um, Wastes some soft balls from the Clefable. I mean, sorry, um, can try to Calm Mind up. Um, so. Sorry doesn't know that Kick Aether's Lari is, scar uh, is not Scarf, because um, otherwise he could just win with Clefable. If he comments up to plus six, I, I think he would just win with the Clefable. Bar crit. Um, because he comments up once. Um, I think he does that, 
Um, and then he, he soft bites again to get his Clefable as healthy as possible. And then as the reason so he makes these series of plays is um, he wants to have a comment up. So he thinks I think he thinks that is a scarf Lari, and then he wants to force the Lari to go for trick. That's why he's uh, commenting up. So this Clefable is actually like a big threat to kick that. That's why he's commenting up. Like he's telling you basically, I'm gonna sweep you if you don't trick me with your Lari. So he finally picks it off, and he's gonna be at around 69 after lefties here. And I think if he's not Scarf Lari, like I know that he's the move, but sorry doesn't know that. So he's gonna fear the trick here and switch out most likely. Um, the thing is. I don't even know if Z-Move would kill. Um, you guys can see now it's Shadowed Psych. I don't. I remember it from the Snake game that I recorded earlier. And he goes on Scissor expecting a trick and it does 5 million. Um, the Scissor can most likely still have a Draco and uh, Psychic or Psyshock from his range. I assume it's Psychic since it's a Z-Move. Um, Psychic Z is obviously stronger than Psyshock Z, I assume, yeah. So sorry, I'm um, gonna try to go for Roost here. Unless Kickasa has the... the f HP Fire coverage here, he can go to Roost up and sorry he's in a good position. But yeah, Kick Edda reveals the HP Fire, I actually do not remember this from the Snake game. I was really tired when I watched the Snake game, I don't even know, remember if he revealed it. So he's gonna go into his uh, Tyranitar to pursue Trap the ba um, the Lari with his Bantar. Uh, Kick Edda predicts the Pursuit Immaculate, goes for Draco and gets some nice damage on the Tita. And yeah, Kick Edda can go into Low Pani. And Clefable is too low, so sorry he's probably gonna sack off his Landris here. And uh, Mantan also can't switch in, especially with Rocks up. And yeah, Manton is also uh, has also more speed dev than Fizz dev, so it's not the best switch to lob on in general. He just HK has fine play, plays that safe. He's gonna return here, doesn't want to risk missing. Uh, picks off the Lando. Now he can go into his, uh, his Clef and heal that up, or he can go into his Tapu Lele. Uh, let's just go for Tapu Lele. So he goes in the Clef, he's gonna softball here. To be fair, um, I, I think he could have gone for Command there. Um, Like, I've skipped through the replay once earlier, so I knew that he would softball there. But I feel like... Hmm. If he commented there... Uh, it was obviously too risky if the Lopani was staying in, but if... Like, it would have been a risky, aggressive play that would have worked out really well for... Uh, sorry, because... Actually, I'm not sure, because as you guys can see now, this has um, Thunderbolt and Sludge Wave. I remember that this has Sludge Wave as well from the Snake game. So even if he commented up, it still would have done... He would have been after lefties at 70 something percent, and Sludge Rift still would have done over. F yeah, okay, never mind. So, this was a fine play, softballing into moon blasting. And yeah, the kickers, I just had the correct coverage on this, and it's looking bad for Sorry. Um, I assume he's just gonna sack off his clef. At this point, it doesn't really heal on anything. It only heals on Dark Puts from the Greninja. But, like, what is he gonna switch into a Thunderous? Like, he would have to sack his Tyranitar and then come in with the Scarf Lily or something like that. Okay, he does sack his Tita. So, he can keep the Clever around for Dark Pulse. Because if Grand locks into dead, then he can potentially heal later. He goes for T-Bolt, that obviously would have killed. He only went for Sludge Wave earlier because the Clever was too healthy. Um, so, like, Sludge Wave... It makes sense to go for Sludge Wave when the Clever is healthy enough. And uh, when it clef is low, you obviously didn't have to. Like then you could just go for T bolt in case sorry switches out. And yeah, I assume sorry is gonna go into his scarf tapu lily here and click moonblast because he obviously cannot click psychic because the Greninja is still alive. So he doesn't want to lock into that move. Oh, he locked into psychic. Huh. I mean to be fair, um, at, if he locks into um, it doesn't really matter because Majorna, even no matter what sorry locks in Majorna would have came in after. I'm actually curious if this Majorna's Iron Head or Flash can. We're gonna see that. Like, I skipped through the replay once earlier, but I don't really remember everything. He goes into Greninja, and he's free to click Dark Pulse here. Oh, yeah, exactly. Since he, since he locked into Psychic, he can. He doesn't have to go Mag. And uh, the Clef is too low, so it gets to it cure from Dark Pulse. And yeah, you guys are gonna actually see a funny thing. Uh, like I said, he was Torrent Gren in his uh, Snake Draft game. And I'm pretty sure he didn't change it, and he's still Torrent. So everyone thinks this is Ash Grand uh, Battle Bond because he doesn't have protein. So he toot kills the Clef and he does not get his Battle Bond. <laughs> I, maybe this is on purpose. Um, to bluff Ash Greninja and then like go for like a certain move. Like uh, my man Colin has to talked to me or like talked to someone about this. I read it in some chat. Um, some like you can use this set and then you can run Gunk Shot. You can bluff that Ash Grand and then you can basically blow away stuff like a favorite with Gunk Shot. Uh, with Torrent Greninja, I feel like 
I mean, it's a quite interesting niche set. Some heater for heater type of stuff. I mean, it it can be interesting, but I don't know if it's worth it. I haven't used it enough. But yeah, basically, um, since this is not Ash for some reason, Mantan can either hit now and go for Roost. Um, but he can just go into uh, Majorna here and click Volt Switch. Oki goes Lob instead. Now I, I understand that he wants to keep his Majorna healthy for the for the Lele. Um, so he can just click f Return here. Yeah, okay, okay. What am I saying? Yeah, Return is completely fine. Like going low pony there was completely fine. Mm, the only way that the only way this wouldn't have worked out is if Sorry predicted that and went for Scald and got the burn. But it was pretty obvious that Sorry had to roost there because if the Greninja stays in, he gets to it KO'd. So like there were like one or two turns where Sorry could have made an aggro play. Like earlier I said he could have commanded with Clef, but that wouldn't have even worked. Um, what he could have done earlier with the Clef, um, I think he could have doubled into the Tapu Lele on the turn. That the Thunderous came out, but I already know how this game went, so it's like easy to say this afterwards. So yeah, unless he gets the burn here, it's looking bad for my man. Okay, he roosts. I mean, he sees that it does too much. He, he cannot roost it off. Like it does around... With lefties, he only heals like a little bit. Like he doesn't heal enough, so he basically has to hope that he gets the burn. And he doesn't get it. Uh, if he got the burn there, I think Mantan just won. Like maybe he had to switch out on the Majorna because of Volt Switch. But the Lopin, he cannot beat this anymore, and the Gren also can't beat it unless it flinches it. So if he got the burn there, he actually could have won, but yeah, now it looks really bad. Because Mantan goes down, and Scarf Lily is not able to win because, yeah. He has to lock into Moonblast because there's a Greninja, and Moonblast is not going to do much to AV Lily. Even if you locked into Psychic, it didn't matter. Um, Kick is a switch is hard into Greninja, completely fine play. Um, if he now locks into Moonblast, he has Greninja dies, and then you can just go into his Majorna and win from there. And yeah, he also has Fag out on his um on his Lopani. So if this gets crit now or something. Um and then terrain like if terrain ever ends, if this goes down, then you can still potentially go for fake out. And since he has burned, if he has iron had this might the burn might actually come into play here. So if Sorry gets some Moonblast. Okay, that did nothing. Holy god. Yeah, so if if he would have been able to go for Psychic if the Greninja was dead, which it obviously isn't, then he still would have needed like a Spadef drop crit to like beat this. And then he had a chance, but yeah. Uh, if he got the burn with Mantan, he would have probably won this. Oh well. So yeah, unfortunately, my man sorry loses this game. You guys can already see. He does have Iron Head, which I like a lot. Um, it's for... I've already talked about this. It is for uh, opposing Majorna, the run Call Mind. And it's for Call Mind Clefable, so I like this set a lot. Um, in this case, it sucks because he got burned, but it doesn't matter for the outcome of the game. Because Iron Head 2-it KOs, Moonblast doesn't 2-it KO. Even two crits wouldn't have killed. Like I said, he would have had to lock into Psychic, and like he needed the Greninja Gun for that to happen. No, I'm not, like I'm just trying to to say like how bu how bulky this Majorna is. Like if he locked into Psychic, then he would have done around 20 with Psychic. So even then, he would have still needed a crit or a Spadef drop. So like it's just crazy. Like maybe Majorna showing its crazy bulk. So yeah, Kick Ezra um, picks it up with two Iron Heads, and Kick Ezra wins two and O. Oh. And yeah, unfortunately, your man sorry is out, and yeah, I think he left. I, I don't want to talk too much about it, but I think Sari is taking a bit of a break from once. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about what, what he's like. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. But yeah, he was obviously pretty frustrated after he lost. I was asleep, so I didn't notice. Um, I didn't know at that point what happened. I thought he would play this game today, which today when I'm recording this, it's Sunday. Um, but yeah, he played yesterday in the evening. Because I thought he, he told me... Yesterday morning he told me he didn't finish... Um, he didn't finish prepping for kick ass. That's why I was super surprised that he did played yesterday. So I went to sleep thinking, oh yeah, I'm not gonna miss this game. He didn't prep yet, right? That's what he told me before he went to sleep. So he's not gonna play today. He's probably gonna play tomorrow. And well, he already played and I missed it. So the other series that I missed is the Kanto series. I'm also gonna record the replays for that. Pretty sure he uh, downloaded his replays and he said he's gonna post them. And yeah, I'm gonna make sure to catch um, Blunder. Hopefully my net doesn't die today in the evening, because sometimes on Sunday my net tries to, decides to die. Uh, hopefully, um, I'm gonna try my best to catch Blunder vs. Floppy live. And also the other series that is still left is... Um, I think... Was it Vertex vs. Sijumas? I think it was Vertex vs. Sijumas. And they play tomorrow, they got an extension. They play tomorrow in the morning, 6 a.m. my time. So it's gonna be rough for me to be uh, up there, but I'm gonna try to be up and record it live. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I don't know, my, my analysis was like a bit shaky in this. Uh, I don't really, I don't really, I'm not the biggest fan of talking over replays. 
Like at one point I, I used to do more replays, but then I realized this is this is this is not only people not only people prefer people prefer live games and also I prefer live games. Like the replay is just not that interesting. If the turns are live, it's way more like I love it a lot more when it turns are live. I don't have the right words, but like you guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Like live games are way more interesting than replays. But yeah, the only reason why I upload this is um since it's my man sorry and it's um whatchamacallit? It's OT around three losers bracket and I was trying to get every single series and replays are down at the moment. That's the other reason why I'm downloading this. I don't think many people have this replay. Only um, a few people that are in my Discord have the replay because some of my friends downloaded it there. I don't know if anyone else downloaded it. So yeah, basically for the people that want to see the replay and then see it, um, that's also why I'm up recording this. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, I'm quite disappointed with my sorry loss. And congratulations to Kickass, obviously. I think he played pretty well. Mm, like, I like his um, aggressive play to him on the HP fire. Like, it didn't work out for him at all. But I feel like that was a cr cr pretty nice play. And I might have fallen for it and gone into the scissor. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll be back later with uh, either some Snake or OLT uploads. Um, also, I have recorded a lot of Snake games, um, like, yesterday. Like, three or four, at least. I don't remember how many. Um, but... My voice just doesn't like do it. Like I recorded like three or four games already that day, and I just couldn't narrate anymore. So some of them I'm gonna have to re-narrate. So they're gonna go up uh, next the next days. Um, I feel like it's fine because I pretty much yesterday I didn't upload, but pretty much other than that I almost upload every day. So like you guys have your content. Like no worries, the content is coming. It's just that. Um, like the game might be a bit outdated because it's from a few days ago, but since replays are down, I think some a lot of people will still not have seen the game. So yeah, like those snake games I recorded, they're actually live, which is amazing. Like people enjoyed it a lot more than replays, and I also do. Like I already said, I don't know where I'm repeating myself. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And yeah, the Blunder vs. Floppy game should be going up later today, unless my net decides to die. So stay tuned for that, and potentially a snake game is coming as well, if my voice doesn't die. And yeah, peace <laughs> out.